Hi everyone, welcome back to our Tech Tuesday videos. This is gonna be our last Tech Tuesday of the year with summer rapidly approaching. We're not gonna be doing any more Tech Tuesday videos, but I did wanna take some time at the beginning of this video to thank you all for watching them, for suggesting uh, video topics for Gerald and I to do for you guys. Uh, I wanna express how grateful Gerald and I are that we get to communicate with you guys in this fashion. Not a lot of districts allow um, for this type of exchange of ideas uh, via video. Um, and so it's something that PECAS has that's pretty unique. So I think you know, we should appreciate that we get the ability to communicate with you guys in this way to provide technical training, share our knowledge with you in video format. Um, it's just another way that makes PECAS unique and makes PECAS a really cool place to work. And Gerald and I are very grateful that we've got to, to share our videos with you this year. That being said, it's the last video, and so we're still gonna cover a Tech Tuesday topic. Um, we're gonna talk about a way to train yourself on uh, Google and using the different products inside of the G Suite. Now that it's summertime, you have some time to actually go through uh, Google trainings at your own pace. Uh, you don't have to worry about students interrupting you, things like that. And so we're, that's gonna be the focus of this video. But just at the beginning, I wanted to say thank you again to everyone who has helped out with uh, the videos and who's provided suggestions and allowed Gerald and I to make these for you. Uh, if you've watched them, that's awesome. If you didn't, you missed out some great videos this year. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to jump over to the actual video where I show you uh, how to install this Chrome extension to help you do uh, Google training. All right, like I said, this video is going to be all about uh, using a Chrome extension for G Suite training to help teach yourself how to use the Google products. Um, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get the extension and then how the extension works inside of the different G Suite products. So. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. Uh, you're going to search for G Suite Training Extension. So I've already searched for it before, but it's G Suite Training Extension, and you're going to hit Enter. The very first result, G Suite Training from Google Chrome, is what you're going to click on. You're going to select it, and it'll pop up to the Chrome Web Store, and you see the G Suite Training. It has the question mark with the um, Google colors around it as its logo. We're going to go ahead and hit Add to Chrome. It'll ask you uh, if you want to go ahead and add it. Um, you can read about what it's allowed to do, but this is from Google themselves, so you can trust it. So you hit Add Extension. So now it shows that the G Suite training has been added to a Chrome. You can see that the icon is up here with the rest of my extensions, um, and it is gone gray. That means there's no way to do G Suite training from this page because this isn't actually a G Suite product. It's the Chrome Web Store. So it's to something totally different. So things that you can get training on, stuff like Gmail, um, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google um, Sheets, uh, Google Keep. You can do um, training over Google Calendar, Google Classroom, all sorts of different uh, G Suite options that we have uh, from our apps you can get training on. And the way the trainings work, sometimes they are videos and sometimes they are interactive. Um, just depends on what you're actually getting trained on. Um, but I'm gonna show you how it looks on the screen and what the first kind of walkthrough trainings would end up being. So we're gonna go to Google Docs. So just go to docs.google.com. And so, pull it up here, docs.google.com, and I have the Google Docs uh, homepage. Now you can see for the first time, uh, since this is the first time that I've had the G Suite training enabled, it shows me what's new in G Suite. I can find out now or I can hit no thanks. I'm just going to hit no thanks. So, you see I have the G Suite training extension enabled right up here in the right hand corner. It's, it's lit up, it's good to go, and I can do training from here. So I wanna actually figure out what the trainings are that are available to me for Google Docs. So I hit the G Suite training icon. Um, it's gonna tell me uh, that I can go through the um, training myself, and it's like a virtual tutor guiding me through everything I need to know about G Suite. So I'm gonna hit awesome. So let's see that I wanna get started with Google Docs. So this 
can be kind of your your summer professional development. I mean, obviously it didn't credit for it, but it's a way to get better at using the Google Suite products, and it allows you to kind of utilize your free time to train at your own pace. So if I were to hit um, play on this, it'll show uh, that I need to go ahead and open a new Google Doc to create uh, start continue this lesson. So I just hit uh, blank on this, and now I have a Google Doc, and it is playing my Essentials Overview training. So you can hear it um, in the background, um, and I didn't want to listen to the whole thing, but what it does is this is interactive, so I'm doing the steps that it tells me to do in the bottom corner, and it, it allows me to not just necessarily watch a video, but I can learn as I'm going. Um, I don't want to get too deep into this because I could spend a whole lot of time going through this and I want to keep the video brief, but that is um, G Suite training extension in a nutshell. Um, like I said, you can do it for all of the G Suite products and it'll let you walk through from beginner all the way through uh, to advanced features inside of G Suite. If you are ever interested in becoming a Google Certified Educator, this is a great place to start because it allows you to get the training that you'll need to eventually pass the educator uh, certification exam. But that's all I've got for this video. Again, wanted to say thank you to everyone who's uh, helped us make the videos, who's watched the videos, who's provided suggestions. Gerald and I appreciate it, and we hope everyone has a great rest of whatever day it is when you watch this video, as well as a great summer. Thanks.